everyone and welcome back. Some fairly sunny skies for uh, most of us across the valley right now. That's going to change as we head into our evening. A first alert weather day with a continued threat for strong to severe thunderstorms. And in fact, the risk has increased from uh, what we were showing you yesterday. Looking at the area in yellow, that is a level two out of five risk for severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center. Areas in dark green, a level one. Light green is non-severe, just your uh, garden variety showers and thunderstorms. The main risks with these storms that develop tonight going to be large hail up to two inches in diameter, along with gusts up to 70 miles per hour possibility. And we're still looking at some spin in the atmosphere for these storms to work with, so we can't rule out the possibility for a tornado or two to develop. So right now we do have some thunder showers up in northeastern North Dakota. These have been on the stronger side as they pass through the northern part of the Devil's Lake. Lake Basin, uh, but these are now just producing some uh, locally heavy rainfall along with some thunder and lightning. These are non severe and these are not the main event. Let's get to the timing of these. So the next few hours we can anticipate some quiet conditions. Uh, it's after the dinner time hour between seven and eight o'clock that will start to see the initial storms firing kind of in the same area where they are right now uh, from Rolla down through the Devil's Lake Basin and they'll move to the east and to the south. So moving into the central Red River Valley by around 10 o'clock to midnight, moving right through the heart of the valley. As we go through the overnight hours, the late night into the early overnight hours, I should say, they'll be crossing the Red River, moving into northwestern Minnesota by around 11 and exiting to the south and east by 2 a.m. Now, by the time we get to these late night hours, early overnight, these storms will lose some of their strength, but still could pose a gusty wind threat as they get cruising and moving out of the valley. Then we're clearing through the overnight period. The wind picks up for tomorrow behind this system with another chance for some storms, some hit and miss thunderstorm activity across the valley with the possibility of a couple of stronger to isolated severe storms, mainly in northwestern northern Minnesota, but hit and miss throughout the afternoon and evening, along with gusty winds and temperatures fairly similar to what we've been seeing today. Right now in Fargo, we're at 81 degrees, southerly breeze at 14 miles per hour, 80 in Grand Forks, gusting to 24 out of the south southeast. Temperatures regionally are in the 70s to low 80s, so very seasonable. Tomorrow, about the same, but we'll have gusty winds, a bit more cloud cover, and scattered storms. Looking at your planning forecast, similar again Thursday, but let's get rid of that scattered thunderstorm chance, still breezy, and then we start the warm up. Slight chance of storms, Bobby, on Saturday, but then the heat next week, it's returning in full swing. We're just talking several days with the potential for upper 80s and low 90s. Yeah, low 90s appears to be the name of the game, but might as well also enjoy them because I feel, I have a feeling in a few months when we start to get lower and lower degree-wise, we're <laughs> we'll going to miss wishing. these 90s. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah.